Hello and welcome to our continual Flash uh, movies and or discussions. This is in reference to lesson four uh, from chapter one, working with the timeline. So we're on Flash 1-33 and I went ahead and I already uh, opened up the tween.fla and this is what we uh, created before and we're going to do a file we're going to do a save as, once again, I'm in my animation folders, and I'm going to call this layers.fla. Now, you'll notice that a lot of these lessons have a tendency to build on one another, so you want to make sure to pay particular attention to making sure to save it with the correct name and the correct location, so that way you can build on the other. If you don't, when you go to create your new item, you're going to have to play catch up to everything. So I wouldn't have my ball here, and I wouldn't already have the path for that ball if I hadn't correctly saved uh, save that elsewhere. And I wanna, I'm just trying to remove a layer that I didn't need left over when I already did this. So I click frame one, right? So I've on my layer one, I click frame one, and I want to click insert on the menu bar and point to timeline, then click layer. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a new layer. So I want to insert timeline and I want to create layer. So now I've got, now I've already added a layer previously, so now I've got layer one and layer three, but when we rename it, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Now we're going to click frame one on layer three in my case, and I'm just going to go ahead and rename this to make it easy for us to play along with what's going on. So it's, there's my layer two, and I want to click frame one. So there's my frame one, my layer two is selected, and I'm going to, it says click the oval tool. Now your oval tool or your rectangle tool, whatever it is, I want to go ahead and click the rectangle tool. While I have that rectangle selected, I want to choose a color, and my color is going to be blue, so I'm just going to choose one particular blue I want, and my uh, swatch is still going to be my black color right there. I'm going to make sure my selection tool, uh, I'm going to, once I've gone ahead and collect this, I want to click and create a square as it appears in Flash 1-3, figure 34. So I'm going to come along in here, I'm going to draw my square, right? And I might, you know, if I don't like how it particulates more along in the center of the, I can put it right there. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create the outline of it right here. Now you'll notice my graphics are a little off, but I'll play catch up here in a minute. And we want to insert, and I'm on number six, and I want to do a motion tween. And remember, yes, I want to go ahead and convert it. And remember what that does is that's creating a motion between here, and then if I click down here, that's going to allow me to then click here. So now I've created a motion path between the two. And once again, my graphics are a little off. And... Yep, and I went ahead and collected that. And now you'll notice if I play the movie, my graphics, once again, are in a loft. I'm not worried about going back through and making that selection, but I still have one and then the other passing one another, which is perfect. All right, so what I want to do now is basically what's going on is I've got my layer. In my particular case, I've got, oh, let me, I'm going to delete this layer here. Let me. I'm going to delete this layer, get rid of that altogether. Much better. Okay, so I've got my layer four, which is actually my layer two. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it layer two. And you'll notice when I actually run this, the layer that my layer two, since it's on top, is actually in, is over my layer one. Right. So if I run that again, there you go. Mm, over. Now, if I take my layer two and I move it below layer one, you'll note now when the two objects pass one another, it my layer one is over layer two, which is perfect. That's what I need. Now, if I take a look down here, here's my frame view, and I can choose tiny, and what that's going to do is that's going to give me all the frames. Notice I'm still out to 50. I can modify it here, but 50 is still pretty much my... Um, extent there. I can choose small. There's my small. I can choose normal. There's my normal. And I can choose large if I wanted to see more. But in my particular case, we're just going to do normal and be perfectly fine with it. And that actually goes through the elements on flash 1-34 and number 7 through 9. Now what I want to do is I want to modify the frame rate and change the layer name. So, uh, let's see, I want to, if I click on, let's do, 
Uh, my frame rate for, let's see, it says point to the frame rate on the timeline status bar, right? So here's my timeline and my status bar right there. So I've clicked on this and there's frames per second. And if I want to change it to three, right? I'm just going to, mm -hmm, I'm going to change it to four, make it easy. Now, if I run it, you'll notice it moves much, much different because the number of frames Chug, 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 chug. So if I come along and I increase the number of frames, let's do 105. It goes, you know, doesn't make the noise. That was me. But it goes much quicker. So we notice the speed change. Um, so what I'm now going to do, since I'm clicked on the timeline, I want to change my FPS. And this is on number six on page 1 35. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to change it to 18, <laughs> and I want to change the stage to black. So I'm changing the stage to black, and it's 18, and now you'll notice when I run it, it's a little bit smoother, less chunky. All right, um, we want to click frame 24, and if we go to frame 20, basically what they're saying is, okay, this is where the two items pass. And you can clearly see that indicator. <coughs> then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my layer one, right, which has my circle in it. I can double click on the name itself and I can type circle. And then what I can do is I can go to layer two. I can double click the name itself and I can type square. So there's my circle and square. So I'm going to go ahead. Now the, at the very end, I want to save my work. Right, I'm just going to do a save, and since I've already called it my um, layers, it's an example of my layers. And what that does is that concludes lesson four, uh, working with layers from chapter one. Well, okay, in this case, working with the timeline, but also working with layers. Uh, we will continue on to lesson five in our next selection. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you.